as we lift up the name of Jesus. Please join in singing and praising the Lord as we celebrate the glory of the Lord.
to look to the Lord. We stop right now to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, giver of all good and perfect gifts. Thank you for food, shelter, and our portion of health and strength. Thank you for this an opportunity to serve. Lord, we hope that this is pleasing in thy sight when we praise your precious name. Thank you, Lord, for an opportunity to stop and say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for carrying me this far. Thank you, Lord, for blessing my family. Thank you, Lord, for last Easter Sunday. And every Sunday you brought me through with this house. Be with us. Stand by us, guide us, and strengthen us, O oh Lord. We ask thy continued blessing. And as I said, and will say it each and every time I get a chance to stand up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you.
announcements for today are as follows. The family of Theodore Macklin would like to thank everyone for your condolences and sympathy in their time of mourning. Thank you for your love and support from the Macklin family. As we have stated now for well over a year, we are in the midst of a pandemic. And we're asking each and every one of you, upon the sound of my voice, to please continue to wear a mask, social distance, and avoid large crowds. And as fast as you can, please become vaccinated. This Wednesday, on April the 13th, the food pantry will be serving the public in the parking lot adjacent to the church. This Wednesday, April 13th, the food pantry will be serving the public in the parking lot adjacent to the church. That's from 11 to 1. From 11 a.m. to 1. The trustees are announcing they will be having a meeting concerning church business on 5-8-21. That's May 8, 21 at noon. The trustees are announcing they will be having a meeting concerning church business on 5-8-21. Services for Second Baptist, as you can see, are streamed Sunday on sbcofmaywood.org or on Second Baptist, Church, Second Baptist Church of Maywood, YouTube. Sunday school classes, times, are streamed as I speak. You can look right on your screen and Sunday school classes and times are streamed as I speak. As every Sunday, immediately following this service from 12.30 to 1, we will have an hour of power. If you so desire to join our church, then please call 343-0073. That's 708-343-0073. 0073 if you desire to join our church. Or if you are simply standing in the need of prayer, immediately following this service from 1230 to 130, you can call 708 0073. Once again, we are blessed to have a powerful speaker today. Our own assistant pastor, Harris. He will be bringing you a word. Take time to listen in just a few moments after one more praise and worship song. Thank you.
no one else than you.
As I, I was looking to Mahela Jackson, I know most people remember Mahela Jackson. Mahela Jackson is known as the queen of gospel music. Recorded this song years ago. But it is timeless for today. The song says, the only hope we have in Christ Jesus. He's the only one who will help you in this world today. Persecution may come in such a heavy, heavy weight, but we have this hope. It's in Christ Jesus. Matthew 7, 24 through 29 teaches us about this hope. It teaches us to build our hope on the foundation of God's word. Whenever we encounter the storms in our lives, we will not fall apart, but we will stand firm. Scripture tells us about two builders. One was wise and the other was foolish. The foolish man built his house on sand. We know that sand is salt. Walk on sand backward, and your feet will sink. When the storm came upon the house, it was quickly demolished. When our faith is built on our intelligence, our knowledge, our popularity, or on our financial, then the storms of life come upon us as the COVID-19 has devastated our nation. We will not be able to withstand those storms. These wise men, the wise man built his house upon a rock. The rain came and down. The floods and winds blew and beat upon that house. But it stood because it was built on a firm foundation, which was Christ. When our lives are built on faith in Christ, whatever storm may come, uh, we are able to remain firm in our faith. If Christ is leading, leading our lives, then we can remain steadfast. Mm-hmm. 1 Corinthians 3, 11 and 12 compares Christians to a building and the foundation is Christ Jesus. Yeah. We must be careful how we, are, we build, as well as the material we build our lives on. These verses speak of gold, silver, and precious stones. And these materials are virtues, they stand. That is from our character. The scripture also speaks of other materials, wood, hay, stone, which are represented of false notions, uh, misguided zeal, and erroneous conduct. These are often mixed with genuine, the genuine. As new Christians, we are excited about our salvation and are anxious to learn more about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the found foundation of our so, he is our base, our reason for being, our reason for living. If it wasn't for Jesus, we wouldn't be living. Everything we are and do was fit into the pattern provided by him. Are you building your lives on the only real and lasting foundation? Or are you building on a faulty foundation? That was a skit presented at a church one time in town, all aboard for heaven. Everyone thought that they had the right credentials to enter heaven. Their credential was misleading. Many who missed heaven had served as Sunday school teachers, choir members, deacons, trustees, ushers, and missionary missionary workers, even others. The skit concluded that many did not have the firm foundation 
The foundation was self-centered, was built on works, their status, and on their abilities, not on Christ. Finally, one of the unknown questions was able to get on board at the training to heaven because he or she had the right credentials. If we are going to have a foreign foundation, we must dig deep. A foreign foundation is not just reading the Bible. Sometimes we read the Bible and we think we get it all. But learning about living the truth of the Bible. A foreign foundation is not just fellowship. There must be a relationship. It is not lip service. Sometimes we talk church. But true obedience in Christ. If we live a life as Christian without Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, then we fail to bring God to glory. Let us be thankful yeah. to God for Jesus Christ, Amen. the only solid, solid foundation. Build your build a foundation of hope. And as I uh, was, God gave me this title of the message. He gave me this song, this song that uh, my hope is built. Yeah. on nothing less. Uh, Sometimes we maintain faith in these difficult situations times. Mm -hmm. One must know Jesus and experience his grace and mercy, yeah. his love and power. These are times when we cannot lean on our own understanding. Romans 12 and 12 reminds us of this. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continue instant in prayer. And a verse of that song, um, maybe two verses, if, if I can sing that verse of that song, my hope is built on nothing less. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' love.
time, let's not forget the sick and the shed in the real families. All the condition that is in this world today. God is depending on you and me. And we lift up prayers to Him for those conditions. So we thank God again for this privilege, this opportunity that He allowed us to come together again today. Just to praise Him. At this time, we're going to be dismissed. Father, Lord, we thank you for this day and for this everything. For being with us in this service. Now may the grace of God be with you in for forever from now on. In Christ's name we pray. Let us all say, Amen.